wiki how how to be a furry so i'm gonna just do this and this is gonna be hilarious <laughs> Uh, the furry fandom is a large welcoming place for people to express creativity and passion for the anthropomorphic animals. If you believe you're interested in the furry community, you have nothing to be embarrassed about. Eh, a bit. <laughs> this article will guide you through the process of becoming a, an av avid and well-respected furry. <laughs> is there such a thing? <laughs> okay, part one. Determining if the furry fandom is right for you. One. Know what the furry fandom is. There are many videos on YouTube explaining what the furry fandom is. An especially good one is the Furs of Anthrocon by NBC in short. Though the furry fandom is a group of people varying backgrounds that simply enjoy anthropomorphic animals. As a good example would be the animals in Zootopia. Ah, yeah, that's pretty spot on. That's a good one. 2. Consider your interest and how they tie into the furry community. The group is centered around anthropomorphic animals, which are animals with human characteristics. If you simply enjoy the concept of werewolves, you may find your calling in this community. <laughs> If you dislike anthropomorphic animals, think they're childish and silly, don't like animals at all, you may not enjoy the furry community. That's preposterous. Yeah, that's pretty spot on. But what about this drawing though? Like, that human looks like she wants to literally bone her inner self. I am not even remotely joking. <laughs> Damn. Decide if you enjoy the people within the furry community? Uh, there are many subgroups within the furry fandom, and you can probably find your own group of friends that have the same types of attitudes and interests as you. However, most of the community support event interactive towards each other. <laughs> yeah, debatable. There is a strong connection between most furries, and they all have common interests that define a lot of who they are as a people. Bas yeah, it's not it's not a lie, but it's basically saying you know this ties into the I think the second one because you can just be anything you want to be. You know, you, you apply your furriness to everything. Also, these humans are scaring the living shit out of me. Four, understand that the furry fan furry is not a sexuality nor a fetish. We shit Sherlock! While some furries like to merge in the sexual interest with the artwork and literature they create within the furry fandom, by no means does being a furry mean you have to enjoy the sexual side of the fandom. Many furries in enjoy creating and participating in the fandom in a completely family friendly way, and many who enjoy the sexual side often also enjoy PG furry artwork. Yeah, yeah, that, that's pretty spot on actually. I'm not, not even gonna joke with that, that's pretty spot on. Also, think to the right. 10 out of 10 would bang again. Okay, 7 out of 10. <laughs> Decide if you want to be a furry. <laughs> Number 5. If you want to create your own furry characters or enjoy wearing and role-playing in usually the most innocent ways. <laughs> in animal costumes like fursuits, your best bet will be to join the furry community. <laughs> However, it's completely up to you if you want to join the community or not. Well, no fucking shit, Sherlock! If you don't have a strong interest in anthropomorphic animals, if you want to join the community, the people within it will likely welcome you with open arms. On the same note, just because you like anthropomorphic animals a lot <laughs> doesn't mean you are automatically a furry. That is completely up to you, and there is nothing forcing you to call yourself a furry or participate in the community. Like, I like number five! Like, it, it seems to be a bit... <laughs> number five is fucking spot on. I like number five. Fucking good work, number five. Just like me, and you could swing your tail happily. Cause when you're a